So today what we're going to do is a salad that's perfect for not only the summer and fall, but for the spring and the winter. So I've got my nice knife here. I'm going to grab my cabbage. All you want to do with the cabbage is you want to pull off the outer leaves, sort of the brown, dirty ones. Get right down to where the cabbage is really nice and tight on the inside. And then you can save these leaves if you want. You can save them for stock. You can save them for soups. Um, or you can just you can put them in the compost. So you want to take off the bottom. So cut that into quarters. And to make it easier on yourself, I like to just pull off a few leaves at a time. Cut them off. And then you want to shred it. Now this is where you want to be careful. And I always say this to everybody. You want to put your hand in a claw, use the claw, and then just nicely chop your cabbage, being very, very careful of those fingers because you certainly don't want to lose them. And the good thing about cabbage here in Nova Scotia is that you can always find it year-round. Like I said, whether it be the Savoy cabbage, red cabbage is really nice in this as well. It adds a really nice punch of color. And next comes the apple. Now, this is where it kind of gets a little bit tricky. This is called a Ben Rinner or a mandolin. The thing about this is it's the perfect tool to kind of make it go quickly. So what you want to do is take your apple and then just quickly go over your blade, watching your fingers because I've been known to certainly lose a few fingertips over this one. So just adjusting it. So I'm going to throw that in there. And then next come my carrots. Now, once again, I'm going to use my handy tool. So if you don't have a mandolin and if you don't feel confident in your knife skills, you can always just use a box grater and then just grate your carrot. But I'm going to use this so that you get nice, long julienne of carrot. So I'm going to do just a little bit of each carrot just to add a little bit of color. Throw that into my bowl. And I'm going to do a little bit of the white and a little bit of the yellow. Now, an heirloom carrot basically means that this is a carrot that is of a very, very old variety. If you check out the farmer's market, especially in the summer, all kinds of different vegetables uh, that you've never seen before are usually of the heirloom variety, which are really nice. So I've got my carrots. So I'm going to add a nice little handful of the sunflower seeds. I'm going to add a nice handful of the pumpkin seeds, the nice, tart, sort of chewy cranberries, a little bit of my Italian parsley that gives just a nice freshness to it. If you didn't have parsley, you could use dill, you could use mint or tarragon. Those are very nice as well. And I like to mix with my hands. Your hands are always your best tool. Our vinaigrette, of course. Give it another little shake. Now I had to, uh, like to add a little bit at a time. Add a little bit, then mix it up, then add a little bit more and mix it up. See what it's like. As you can tell, it's a nice sort of creamy, not too creamy, not too thick. Give it a quick seasoning of salt and pepper. And there you have an apple and carrot slaw with a little bit of maple, a little bit of pumpkin seed, a little bit of tartness. Simple and easy, so Nova Scotian and so seasonal. And for other recipes like this, you can always go to selectnovascotia.ca 